Um, of course, uh, you told me that uh, you participated in national service. Yeah, I mean, education is, uh, uh, Professor Gaim um, um, listed, it's a mixed bag. Mm -hmm. It's a mixed bag because the country boasts, uh, you know, extremely high uh, adult uh, literacy rate, uh, which is superior in the, the continent. Uh, they have, uh, I mean, in the continent, developing countries, other developing countries as well. Uh, they have uh, universal and free education. Uh, I was uh, one of the beneficiaries of education because uh, I participated in national service as well. And you went up to university in Eritrea? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. uh, my earlier uh, undergrad, uh, I did uh, my journalism uh, degree in Asmara University. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Asmara University, the, the situation in terms of higher institutions, um, Asmara University used to be highly accredited internationally recognized institution. Uh, at this point, because uh, uh, there was only one institution that the country was competing, uh, people 13,000. I was competing against 13,000 uh, people were taking uh, the test to get into one institution. Mm -hmm. And so the quota would be 1,000 or 2,000 people to come in. And so the government dispersed and dismantled the institution to uh, disperse, disperse it all over the country. So there are different colleges all across the country now. Um, and it's no longer accredited uh, as it used to be before. It used to be the jewel of the country where, uh, you know, uh, it was competitive internationally um, and, and no more. And so many young people leaving the country also look for educational opportunities somewhere else mm. um, uh, because of that. And they desire to, you know, grow and have more um, educational opportunities uh, and aspire in other countries also em em emanate from from that institutional, um, you know, dismantling. What about uh, these allegations of uh, uh, indefinite national service? Is that true? And if true, how I, were you able to go to, to college from national to service and to end up in the United States, Salim? Well, um, so the national service uh, applies to every man and woman in the country. Uh, and so between the age of 18 and uh, 50. And it's supposed to be for how long? Isn't it eight, 18 months at least? On paper. <laughs> On paper, but in practice? It's, it's tricky. In practice, uh, I know colleagues and friends that have been in, in, in national service for over 10 years. What? Um, yes. I mean, and, and the thing is, even when you have opportunity, I was one of the lucky ones because uh, I made it through the quota to join the university after competing 13, with 13,000 people. I, 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 t I went to, uh, uh, to do my education at the University of Asmara, and then uh, national service continues. So even if you are practicing, let's say you study journalism and you practice as a journalist at the, the only uh, media mm -hmm. out there is the government institution, the gov state-run uh, TV station or radio uh, or print, um, you say there is a, a civil uh, service, is what it's called for a year, paid almost uh, very minimal, and uh, that limits uh, people's opportunities. How did you end up here? Did you uh, live legitimately? Oh yeah, openly? I lived legitimately. Um, so the thing is, there is leniency. Part of the reason why this law that's been written on paper is uh, practical to uh, some extent is that uh, you know, there is leniency if you've done, let's say, uh, six months of your military service and you do one year of your civil service, sometimes there's leniency when it comes to, to women sometimes. But that doesn't apply. The, you're looking at an exceptional case. Um, there are uh, friends and colleagues that have been trapped for 10 years. And so I, I, I'm, I consider my, myself as one of the lucky ones in terms of, you know, uh, achieving my, uh, my goals and, and, and being uh, at a position where I am, seeking, of course, even uh, educational opportunities in the U.S. Um, I'm sure uh, Simon could also chime in because he took education in the U.S. as well. But uh, aside from personal um, uh, achievements or, or uh, you know, processes, uh, in terms of the country as a whole, people feel, find themselves, especially the youth, mm. find themselves within the service doing, um, uh, whether it's under a ministry or military uh, service, for 10 plus years. You are the exception rather than the rule.